Ergo is a organism design company. Uh, and what we do is try to find a way to engineer a microbe, a bacteria, or a yeast um, to do something, to make something for our consumers. we do have customers who, who would be able to say like, I want a bacteria that does this. Uh, more often than not, it's actually a very back and forth. Like we, we need to take time to understand our partner's business, understand how they make their, their products, um, and, and try to identify a place where, where bacteria or yeast, these microbes are going to be able to make an impact for them. What we do to design organisms is we actually design DNA. Uh, so DNA is the, the code of the cell, you know, something that, that gives, uh, tells the cell what to make and what to do. Um, and so we can design new kinds of behaviors in the cell by taking D DNA and genes from other organisms and putting them into the, into the bacteria and yeast that we work with. One of the most interesting and most exciting, I think, is, is a partnership with Bayer. Uh, it's a German company uh, that it's a new joint venture, a new new company that's forming uh, focused on a really difficult uh, problem in agriculture, which is the problem of nitrogen fertilizer. About half of the nitrogen that gets put onto the plants actually doesn't get to the plant itself. It gets washed away into the water. Um, so it's really damaging to the environment. Um, so what Bayer wants to do and what we're trying to do in this joint new company uh, is engineer microbes, bacteria, that can live in the soil around the plant and give nitrogen, uh, give that fertilizer to the plant directly. Um, so now you're basically miniaturizing the plant, uh, you know, the factory that's making the chemical fertilizer, but you're putting it in, in a natural process inside of a bacteria. Biology can already do this. Um, it's just not, uh, it doesn't work with all plants. Uh, so, you know, plants like soybeans or peanuts, um, they already have bacteria that live in their roots and, and make it possible for them to have, to take the nitrogen from the air so that you don't have to add chemical fertilizers to soybeans. Uh, and so uh, now we, where the idea is to be able to take that skill <laughs> that those bacteria have with the soybeans and now transfer it to bacteria that can work with, with plants like corn or wheat. Biology is, has, you know, four billion years of experience, <laughs> more than we do in doing this kind of thing, uh, and, and has figured out ways to solve all of these problems. Um, what we're trying to do and what humans have been trying to do for a long time is figure out how to work with biology to make these things possible in our industry. Um, so already, you know, there's, there's companies uh, that are in, in our industry that are making, doing amazing things. So there's a company that's making leather, uh, that's you know, re, uh, reimagining what leather might be because that leather is now made by yeast instead of on the skin of animals. Um, so you can, you can make new kinds of shapes and new kinds of textures and you don't have to kill an animal to produce it. Uh, there's also people who are making silk, uh, 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 spider silk without a spider, <laughs> using the genes from the spider transferred to the yeast. Um, and so the, uh, Stella McCartney designed a, a dress out of this spider silk. Um, so those are the kinds of things that I see today as kind of hinting to a future of like, what might be, we, we be wearing in five years? Well, maybe that's going to be something that's you know, made with this biological process. Mm -hmm.